Hi everyone, this is Dr. Diana Songsong of MathUpJunarial.com. In today's lesson, we are going to graph the equation of a line using the x-intercept and the y-intercept. If this is your first time in my channel, do not forget to subscribe so that you will be notified for future updates. Enjoy watching! Alright, so let us first look at the definitions of intercept. So what's the meaning of x-intercept? So that is the point where your line crosses the x-axis. Now, if you will look at your line over here, it intersects the x-axis at this point. And what is that point? This point here is negative 2, 0. So this is your x-intercept. Similarly, the y-intercept is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. If you will look at your line over here, it crosses the x-axis at this point. And what is this point? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the point 0, 4. So this is your y intercept. Okay, let's look at this example over here. Let us identify the x and the y intercept. So the x intercept is at this point, right? What is that point? That is the point negative 4, 0, right? So this is the x intercept. And your y intercept is this point. And what is that point? That is the point 0, 2. Okay? Next example, let us find the x-intercept. The x-intercept is this point, right? Where it intersects the x-axis. And what is that point? That is the point 6, 0. What about your y-intercept? Your y-intercept is this one. And that is the point 0, 3. Okay? What about this line over here? So, in this case, we have a vertical line. Does it intersect the x-axis? Yes, it intersects the x-axis at this point. What is this point? That's 3, 0, right? What about the y-intercept? Does it intersect the y-axis? Take note that no matter however you extend this line, it will never intersect the y-axis. So therefore, we have no y-intercept. Now take note class, what's the equation of this line? The equation of this line is x is equal to 3, right? Because if you look at all the points here, the x-coordinates are always equal to 3, right? What is this point? This is 3, 0. This is 3, 1, 3, 2, and so on. Correct? Now, anyway, so my point here is that if you have a vertical line, so vertical lines do not intersect the y-axis. Unless, of course, that your vertical line is your um, y-axis. Okay? But in general, vertical lines do not intersect the y-axis. What about if you have a horizontal line like this? Do you have an x-intercept? So, in this case, we have none. Right? It will never intersect your x-axis. Do you have a y-intercept? Yes. It intersects the y-axis the at this point. And that is the point 0 negative 4 okay how do we compute for the intercepts now let us recall again let us look at this example that we had earlier our x intercept here is negative 2 0 our y intercept here is 0 4 now, if you are an x-intercept, that means that you are on the x-axis. But if you are on the x-axis, if you are on the x-axis, for sure, you know that your y-coordinate will always be equal to 
0. Right? So that's why when you solve for the x-intercept, you set y to 0 and then you now solve for x. What about if you are a point on the y-axis, just like in this case? If you are a point on the y-axis, you're sure that your x-coordinate would be equal to 0. So that's why when you solve for the y-intercept, you set x to 0 and you solve for y. Okay? Alright, so let's have an example. Suppose we have 5x plus 4y equals 20. Let us first solve for the x-intercept. So it says here that you set y to 0. Okay? So we have 5x plus 4 times 0 equals 20. Right? 4 times 0 is just equal to 0. So you have 5x equals 20. And then what do we want to do? Solve for x. So, since we have 5 times x here, we want to eliminate the 5. And it's multiplied to x, so we divide both sides by 5. So, x is equal to 4. So, what does that mean? Our x-intercept is the point 4. This is your x, right? But then your y here is 0, right? So, y is, um, this is your x-intercept. For zero. Now, what about when we are solving for the y-intercept? So, we set x to 0. So, we have 5 times 0 plus 4y equals 20. So, this is 0. So, we have 4y is equal to 20. And we want to solve for y. So, divide both sides by 4. So, what do we get there? y is equal to 5. What is now our y-intercept? Remember here that we set x to 0, right? So our point here is 0, 5. Now let us have um, a shortcut for that. I call this the cover-up method. Okay, so if your equation is in standard form, let us recall that standard form is ax plus by equals c. To find the x-intercept, we cover up y. Because remember that when we are solving for the x-intercept, we set y to 0, right? And then when we, when we want to look for the y-intercept, we cover up x. Or that's the same as we are setting x equal to 0. So for example, let's do that for the previous equation that we had earlier, 5x plus 4y equals 20. So what I will do is I will just cover it. Okay, first let us solve for the x-intercept. So for the x-intercept, it says here that we want to cover your y, to cover the term involving y. So there you go, it's gone. Okay, so 5x is equal to 20. So, we now solve that 5x is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 5. So, you now get x is equal to 4. What about, let me return that, let's erase. What about when we want to solve for the y-intercept? It says here that you cover up x. So, let's cover up x. So, I'm left with, oops. I'm, I'm, I will cover x. There you go. I'm left with 4y. 4y equals 20. Divide both sides by 4. So we get that y is equal to 5. Understand? So wait. Again, my x-intercept here, my x is equal to 4. So my x-intercept is 4, 0. Whereas here, my y is 5 and my x here is always equal to 0. So, I still get the same answer. Okay? Let's have another example. Let's solve for the x-intercept. So, what do we do? Cover y. Okay? So, let's do that. Cover y. I'm left with 6x. 
equals negative 18, right? Divide both sides by 6. So, x is negative 3. So, what is our x-intercept? Our x-intercept is negative 3, 0. For y-intercept, we cover x. Wait, let me return that. Okay, so in this case, we want to cover x. So, let's do just that. Cover x. So, we now have, we're left with 3y is equal to negative 18. Divide both sides by 3 since we're solving for y. So, y is negative 6. So, therefore, our y-intercept is 0, negative 6. Understand? Now, let us use what we have learned um, solving for the x and y-intercepts in order to um, graph the equation. In our previous video, um, we learned how to graph an equation using um, the, the slope-intercept form using the slope and the y-intercept. Now, this time around, we are going to um, graph an equation using the intercepts. Okay, so let's do that. So, we will just get the x-intercept and the y-intercept. x-intercept and y-intercept. Now, the cover-up method also works even if you do not have standard form. You still perform the same procedure. If you want to solve for x-intercept, you cover y. Okay, so let's do that. For the x-intercept, we cover cover y here, cover x. So, for x-intercept, what are we going to be left with? We cover y. So, let's cover y. So, that means, when you cover y, that means it becomes 0. So, your equation is now 0 equals negative x plus 3. I'm solving for x. I will move x on the other side. But since I have negative x here, if I want to put it on the other side, I will add x on both sides. So, that negative x plus x is 0. So, I have x here is equal to 3. So, that means that our x-intercept is 3, 0. Okay? For y-intercept, let me just put it back, the original equation. We cover x. So, let's cover x. What's left? Immediately, we have y is equal to 3. So, that means our y-intercept is 0, 3. Now, by the way, let me just go back. By the way, this is already in slope-intercept form, correct class? This is already in slope-intercept form. So, automatically, this means that this is your b and your b is your y-intercept. Okay? So, now, let's do that. Let's plot the point. So, the x-intercept is 3, 0, and your y-intercept is 0, 3. And then, just connect the points. So, that's it. That's the graph of your line, y equals negative x plus 3. Let's have another example. y is equal to 2x minus 4. So, take note that we already know that the y-intercept is equal to um, your b is negative 4, right? So, your y-intercept is already 0, negative 4. Okay? Remember, for y-intercept, your x-coordinate is always equal to 0. And this thing over here is your b. This is your b. Okay? Now, we just have to solve for the x-intercept. So, for the x-intercept, cover y, right? So, meaning to say set y to 0. So, we have 0 equals 2x minus 4. So, since I'm solving for x, I will just eliminate the minus 4 on this side. So, how do we do that? Since this is minus 4, the opposite of minus is plus. So, I will add 4 on both sides. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So, we're left with 2x is equal to 4. We're solving for x. So, we divide both sides by 2. So, we now have x is equal to 2. So, that means our x-intercept is 
2, 0. Let's now plot that. This is your x-intercept, 2, 0. And your y-intercept is 0, negative 4. Then, whoops, it's supposed to be a straight line. Okay, forgive me if I wasn't able to draw a straight line. Now, take note also here that our m, our slope is 2. So, that's why our line is also rising. Okay? Our last example, we have 3x minus 2y equals 6. So, this is in standard form. So, let's solve for the x-intercept. We cover y okay so we're just left with 3x actually you can also delete that so we have 3x equals 6 divide both sides by 3 since we're solving for x and you have 3 multiplied to x so x is equal to 2 so that means our x intercept is 2 0 what about your y intercept let me just erase that again, okay? For y-intercept, we cover x, right? So, we cover x. So, we're left with negative 2y is equal to 6. We are solving for y. So, we divide both sides by negative 2. So, y is equal to negative 3. So, what is our y-intercept? That's the point. 0, negative 3. And then we're now ready to plot. So our x-intercept is 2, 0. Our y-intercept is 0, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. This one. So that's our line. Okay. So now let's have a quiz. Let's see what you have learned. So I want you to graph 4x minus 3y is equal to 12. Now, the solution to um, this quiz can be found in our website. Just look at the link in the description below. Wow.